what you are seeing isn't just another car factory. This is an entire industrial ecosystem, a self-sustaining city of steel, automation and electric ambition. Welcome to the beating heart of China's electric vehicle revolution, the BYD Zhangzhou Giga Factory. Stretching across an astonishing 130 square kilometers, this facility isn't just big, it's colossal. To put that into perspective, it's larger than the entire city of San Francisco, it dives Tesla's Navida Gigafactory, clocking in at more than 10 times its size. And within its vault, something extraordinary is happening. Tens of thousands of electric vehicles are being designed, assembled, tested and rolled out, not just to power China's road, but to redefine the global auto industry. This isn't just manufacturing, it's a bold statement that China is ready to lead the EV revolution, not just with cutting-edge tech, but with unmatched industrial scale. So the big question is, why did BYD choose to go this big? What does it take to operate a manufacturing empire of this magnitude? And could this model reshape how the world builds electric cars? Let's dive in and uncover the secrets behind the world's most ambitious EV factory. BYD's journey started back in 1995 as a humble battery company with only 20 employees. Its founder, Wang Jungfu, was a chemist who saw an opportunity not just in powering devices but in powering the future. Within just a few years, BYD became a global leader in battery production, supplying major brands like Nokia and Motorola. But Wang wasn't satisfied. In 2003, BYD took a major risk by acquiring a struggling state-owned car manufacturing. At that time, Internal combustion engines dominated the market, and electric cars were still a long shot. But BYD decided to bet everything on a cleaner future. And guess what? That gamble paid off. In 2022, the company completely stopped making gas-powered vehicles and went all in on electric and hybrid technology. In 2023, BYD sold over 3 billion cars and generated $85 billion in revenue. For comparison, Tesla sold 1.8 million cars during that same year. Well, wait a minute, there's more to the BYD's story. The crown jewel of BYD's rise is the Zhangyul Giga Factory located in Henan province, right in the geographic center of China. Construction began in 2021 and the factory has already entered the fifth phase of development out of eight total. At the moment, six production lines are active with an annual output of 400,000 vehicles, but once all 16 lines are fully operational by the end of 2025, the factory will have the capacity to produce 1 million cars every year. That's nearly two vehicles rolling off the line every single minute, 24-7. Uh, this factory isn't just massive in size, it's uh, also in the perfect location. Henan province sits at a crossroad of China's vast highway and rail systems, which makes shipping cars across the country and to international markets much faster and cheaper. In fact, VYD saves about 20% on logistic costs compared to factories located on the coast. What else also makes the location so strategic is its proximity to natural resources. Henan is home to some of the largest reserves of lithium and rare earth metals in the world, critical materials for making EV batteries. This gives BYD a reliable local supply chain that doesn't depend on imports. Sports from the Chinese government has played a major role as well. The Zhongzhou Giga Factory has received over $500 million in tax breaks and infrastructure subsidies. Special rail connections were built just to link the factory to the export terminals in Shanghai, cutting down even more on time and cost. BYD didn't stop at building a factory. They created a whole talent pipeline by partnering with universities in Zhengzhou and to train thousands of engineers. These students specialize in battery, chemistry, robotics and AI-driven manufacturing, ensuring the company always has the skilled workforce it needs. So what have we got inside the factory? Well, nearly everything is made in-house. From batteries, motors, semiconductor chips, air conditioning systems, you just name it. This 
Vertical integration gives BYD control at our every stage of production, which lowers costs and ensures high quality. It's uh, the kind of a setup that every few automakers in the world has managed to achieve at this scale. Sustainability is another key focus at the Zhengzhou site. This roof is lined with 1.2 million square feet of solar panels, which generate enough electricity to power 20,000 homes per year. The facility also recycles wastewater from production processes, reducing water usage by about 40% every year. The factory offsets an estimated 120,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions, roughly the same as planting 5 million trees. And you know what? Innovation is constant here. BYD has already produced its blade battery, which is about safer and cheaper than traditional lithium-ion battery. And they're not stopping there, actually. The company is developing next-generation solid-state batteries capable of delivering 500 miles of range with just a 10-minute charge. These batteries are expected to enter mass production by 2026, and the Zongzhu factory will be centered to make that possible. But, 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 perhaps the most remarkable part of this facility is that it functions like a small city. Over 60,000 workers live on site in dormitories. They have access to cafeterias, gyms, free Wi Fi, schools for their children, and even a 200,000 square foot shopping mall where they can buy groceries, clothes, and electronics. The campus includes sport fields, tennis courts, and even an artificial lake where workers can go fishing. BYD's goal is to increase the number of employees to 200,000 by 2026, which would make this factory community roughly the size of Desmonis Loa. The Zongzhu Kiga factory is unlike anything the automotive world have seen before. It's not just a place where cars are assembled, it's an entire ecosystem designed to produce electric vehicles faster, cheaper, and more efficiently than anywhere else. Still, there are real risks. Global demand for electric vehicles has started to level off. In fact, in Europe, for example, some BYD cars have piled up at ports and dealerships are now offering steep discounts to move this inventory. So if demand doesn't grow as expected, BYD could end up with more capacity than the market needs and with rising competition from companies like Tesla, Rivian and Lucid Motors, BYD will have to keep pushing the boundaries of innovation just to stay ahead. There's also pressure from international regulations. The European Union's carbon border tax, for instance, could add up to $2,000 to the price of each BYD car sold in Europe that could make it harder to compete on price. And that's one of the BYD's strongest advantages. Still, the company is expanding. New factories are already under construction in Hungary and Brazil. The Hungarian plant will help BYD avoid EU tariffs and better serve the European market, while the Brazilian factory will target the still developing EV market in South America. By 2020, 2030, by 2030, BYD hopes to localize 80% of its power supply chain in every region it operates in reducing its reliance on Chinese manufacturing. Looking ahead, BYD's future will depend on how well it can scale cut costs and lead in battery innovation and autonomous driving. With the Zingzu, Zing, Zingzu. With the Zingzu Giga Factory at the center of that, we and BYD is not just participating in EV revolution, it's aiming to lead it. So what do you think? Is BYD building the future car of manufacturing or taking a risk that might not pay off? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.